Should I whiten my teeth now or... <laughs> Where'd you guys come from? You know, I don't like it when you sneak up on me. In today's video, you guys keep commenting about this guy named Luke Davidson, who is a funny creator, but he apparently whitened his teeth in 14 days. And you keep telling me I need to react to it. So we're gonna see what did he do and is it even real or is he just faking it? Let's see. A few days ago, I posted this TikTok and got a lot of comments about my teeth. <laughs> What did I tell you about making those TikToks? This is totally me in the office. I'm trying to like be quiet so I don't disturb patients, but then I'm over here just making a loud noise too. So I totally relate, Luke. You need to brush your teeth. Your teeth are so yellow. You need to go to the dentist. Cause I know my teeth are yellow. And last time I went to the dentist, I asked her about them and she said they're just naturally that color. And if I wanted, I could try Crest 3D whitening strips, which is what I'm gonna do. Okay, first off, looking at his teeth, they are a little bit yellow and he's actually 100% correct on this. Your teeth are naturally yellow. You can brush your teeth as many times as you want during the day it's not gonna magically whiten them. There's a way that we do whiten them and that is with hydrogen peroxide and strips, gels, everything else in between. The Crest white strips that he chose are actually some of my favorite, most cost efficient ways to whiten your teeth. So, so far he's doing pretty good. So the box I got says it removes over 15 years of stains, use once a day for 30 minutes and I do it for a total of 14 days. So, so far everything he's saying is completely right. A ton of other people say that they're gonna whiten your teeth in one hour or two days or whatever. Nah, it takes time and so, if he's doing this 30 minutes a day for 14 days, I'm excited to see the results here. And before I put them on, I'm going to show you guys what my teeth look like now. Okay, so pretty much kind of yellow. I feel you, Luke. My teeth are yellow too. So I got this paper towel here. I'm just going to dry my teeth so they're not wet. That's a smart move because the dryness of the teeth will help those uh, stick a little bit better. My man has been reading the instructions. Now, one thing you do want to worry about with these guys is don't get the strips on the gum tissue because the hydrogen peroxide will actually burn your gums a little bit and can even turn it bleach white. Here's a picture of what it looks like when you have white gums from bleaching, but it will come back and it's not that big of a deal. It just is pretty uncomfortable. So just try and avoid the gum tissue. Wrapping it around, looking good. It's so weird to see people struggle with putting stuff like this on teeth because I've literally been working in mouths for so long that it's like so second nature. I mean, he's really getting in there, isn't he? <laughs> One of my <laughs> least favorite things about whitening is the, the drool and the nastiness that just comes up. But you see those bubbles. Let's see what it looks like after one time. Ugh, so goopy and nasty. But these ones work really good because they stick to the teeth really well. All right, we're on to day two. Still yellow. For the fact that he just straight up is honest about that. He says, hey, day two, they're still yellow. They should be still yellow because it takes time, man. It's gradual. It takes at least a week or two before you see any results. Okay, so he's doing it in round two here. Interesting he didn't say anything about sensitivity. I would be so sensitive I couldn't even breathe. By the way, if you do have sensitive teeth, you can use a thing called remineralization gel and it actually just basically plugs those holes and gets rid of that sensitivity faster for you. These things are really annoying. Yeah. All right, day three. Look at how much better he is at getting it on there. They are looking whiter. I mean, you can tell. So you can see this outer white layer here, and then it's a little bit darker under here. Probably just didn't get as good down here, but you can see that it will penetrate over time. So he's definitely whitening. He's definitely getting some whitening going on. Day five, looking good. Day six, they're definitely getting whiter. Woo, boy, look at that. My boy got toilet bowl seat. Woo, that's actually a pretty good point. What he's doing right there is he's taking his fingers and he's sticking it in there. That's a pretty good tip. I like that. Puts that bad boy all around to try and get as max maximum around. I wonder if he does it on the lower. Ah, honestly, so much better. So much better, dude. Woo! You can really see that this is what you're supposed to see, guys. You're not supposed to see someone go from this to just super bright white veneer, porcelain, toilet bowl, white teeth. He didn't even have sensitivity. I, I wish. This is what I'm talking about, though. This is a realistic difference between your whitening here and here. I think he did a really good unbiased job of basically presenting this and I 100% think this is fact. I don't think he was lying. I think he really did do this in 14 days. I don't think there's any reason to disbelieve that he couldn't do this in 14 days. So let's see what his thoughts are. The only thing that I don't like is that there's some spot that the strip didn't get because I didn't like push it in hard enough or when I did push it in it like didn't stick it like kind of came off like right in between my teeth there's still a little bit of yellow. So that's kind of a misnomer you know even though it does help to kind of push them up against the teeth the way that whitening works is it penetrates into the teeth so I bet you he just has heavier stain in that area because it's an area where you don't clean very often. So that's the only thing I would say is is there's nothing the way that he did the strips that caused that it's just the fact that in between his teeth were more stained 
first than the front of the teeth that he was brushing every day. So in conclusion, if you guys are watching this video because you have yellow teeth and you want to whiten them, I would recommend getting Crest 3D whitening strips. So yeah, Crest white strips are good. Actually, strips are some of my favorite ones, especially the ones that cling really good onto your teeth. You do have trays like the Opalescent Go that are good too. That being said, it does work. Whitening is great. It's not bad for your enamel at all, but it can cause sensitivity. In the end, Luke Davidson, I think you are not only a great creator, but I think you did a great job representing teeth whitening, and I think your result was great, man. So thank you so much for giving all that out to everybody to see. Well, now I look at my yellow teeth, and now I'm self-conscious, so I gotta go whiten my teeth. So make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!